We're all live. Oh, how y'all doing? This is the Real World J Podcast Show. This is your host, Full Circle J. I call it J. I'm the pot of Jack J. J Easy with host Mark 2.5. What's going on? What's going on? Shout out to everybody tuned in. It is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, and I am your host, Mark 2.5. Twice as nice and have the time to have two grams and a half, one half of the desert eats. And uh, what are we talking about today, Justin? Man, a woman with no goals. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there are people that have been idle to the, uh, you know what I'm saying, to the show, that who, uh, you know what I'm saying, who know about the show. Uh, you know how we do it. We do it with a quote. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we do it with the song, with the vibe, or the, uh, 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 the show going. You know what I'm saying? I shout out to the people who listen it. Shout out to the uh, uh, who listen on Wednesday right now. And uh, we lift the title of the show, and we're talking about women and women with, with no goals. You know what I'm saying? Just like you don't want a man with no goals, a, a dude don't want a woman with no goals. We're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, at the end at, at the end of the day, what really matters in a relationship, people don't matter because if this not right, nothing is right. And that's how it is. It's trite. <laughs> so this is going to be a trite, you know what I'm saying? So here you go. You're going to get the Bible of the song going. I mean, we're going to get the Bible of the show going. Or we're going to get a quote. We're going to get it going. Let's go. Yeah, running it out. That's facts. Yeah, uh, like. Here we go, Real World J Podcast Show. Let's go. Your step, your real step, right there. Mm. Let's go. Formation. We're dropping down. Yeah. We're talking about women. Women with no goals. No goals. Women, y- y'all talk about men with no goals. Let's talk about women with no goals. They worse than the men with no goals. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You got a quote? Yes, sir. Let's go. So, a bad woman is expensive, but a real woman is priceless. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me run run it back for the... Yeah, we're going to run it back for them in the back. Run it back. Yeah, just just make sure they they receive that. Okay. A bad woman is expensive, but a real woman is priceless. Dropping jewels. Oh, man. Yes, sir. I, I kind of bet the differ on that one. Oh, okay. Let okay. him know. Talk man. to him. Bad woman is, is, is cheap. To, it's cheap to keep. Uh, 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 the, you know what I'm saying? A good woman is expensive to keep. To maintain. Yeah, I guess either way, the way you, you're looking at it, half the glass half empty or half full. Mm-hmm. It's two different. Mm-hmm. I think the way they're looking because at it. Because if she worked it. And then, you know what I'm saying? She's going to take upkeep. You know what I'm saying? She's going to take keep. You know what I'm saying? Especially her work. Right. You know but what I think what they mean is a woman who is worth it, a real, real down, down woman is not going to want you for your, you know, for those things. It's I, not about the finer things to them. It's about you. So that's what I'm good. talking about. Right. No, I'm talking about the, I'm, I'm talking about the things, the important things that matter is, is, is the love and the tenderness and the caringness and the, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 
people, people, and people, the person you were genuine and they love you and they care about you and they do anything for you, right? They fight for you. Those are the things I'm talking about. Okay, that makes sense. Those are the things I'm talking about. Yes, sir. I mean, you'll make sure you'll take care of that. Mm-hmm. At any cost. Mm-hmm. Because it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Those are the relationships. You can't that buy that. That's a relationship that lasts. When you, care, you know what I'm saying? We take care of those things, too. And I mean, you could attest to that personally. Yeah. yeah. It's hard work, but it's worth yeah. it. You gotta make it make sense sometimes. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, why don't you give them a little intro into uh, what you was thinking about when you came up with this topic about women with no goals? Man. Cause something brought it on. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just like, you know, just point blank, like, but like, you can be like, full up, like, what's up, you know, like, you know, the worst kind of, like, like I said, like, the worst kind of man, the worst kind of man that you can be is a man with no goal, with no plan, and you just expecting the world to fall. But we talking you know about women. Like, listen to what I'm saying, you know, let me talk. Right. So, that's, so the science, so you, we got to hold women, we got to hold women to the same standard. Okay. And we don't. And that's the problem. Because at the end of the day, the same question that you ask a man, can a man ask the same question back to you and you have the right answers? Just like you expect him to write, have the right answers? Right. Most of y'all can't. So why do y'all, so why do you expect somebody to, so why, did, so you and somebody expect, so why do you expect somebody to, so why would you expect somebody to accept you and you won't accept them if they didn't meet your goal and meet your standard? Well, I think because sometimes people uh, prefer gender roles in relationships, and they feel like... I think that's kind of like it. I like mean, it can be, but how do you feel if your woman, when you're there, having to change a tire, and you get a flat? I would change a tire. Exactly. But some people would say that's a double standard, because they want equality, so it should be equal, right? No, I would just do it out because I would just, that's how I would like talk. I mean, that's how, you know what I'm saying? This is how I'm supposed to be. You know, it's like, it, but why it's is a it feeling. supposed to be? Like it's, it's a feeling. But if it's equal and it's not one above I don't, the other, but there's I, no gender. I, 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 I don't look at it that way. I just feel like there's like, damn, I'm, I, I mean. It's kind of contradictory. I want to be out there. Well, because that's how you was raised and taught. And that's how I want to be. But just because. I always want to help people. So yeah, I would be out there anyway. That's true. That's, true. that's what I'm saying. Right, right. Like that's in me to help people. So I'll be out there anyway. Right, right. That's true. For sure. I I'll I I I I I be the first one to help. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of women are in the kitchen. Let's be honest, right? No. And like, why? <laughs> I'm no. saying when it comes to female women and <laughs> wives and husbands, the majority of the women are going to cook for their husbands. No. Okay, I mean, probably not. Man, 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 don't man, do it. Don't go down that road, Jesse. That, that generation don't ain't. Do it. You don't want it. That generation ain't popping what it used to be. Don't think uh, that, 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 man, this ain't man. This ain't nineteen fifties, dog. In two thousand twenty-one, dog. But that's like you said. That's how they were raised. So they want a lot of people. Good a, a lot of people. No, a lot of people wouldn't like that. A lot of people just get with that shit. It's what, like the, a lot of people want to talk that, and they just getting that shit on TV. So you're saying a good woman don't want to cook for her man? Yeah, I, no, she do. There you go. They're stupid. Women just gotta find them. They're hard to just find. Diamond in the yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. And uh, like I said, uh, why is so hard to find? Like what? Like Ask are y'all like hiding, or y'all just like are 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 are, 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 are y'all just no good? Like what are we doing? Ladies, <laughs> like, like what are we doing? Ladies, like, or just like oh, or y'all just be like oh, are y'all just gonna blame the man card like? You know, where, you know, man damage, you know, women, I understand that. I get that. You're right. But women damage men, too. And it, it, all, it, is, all it is just a vicious cycle. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Women hurt men, men hurt men, and they come with the cycle. And they but, use that so, they use that card so but, many times about, oh, I was But the thing man. is, but see, a woman without, a, without no goal, without no plan, if, they, if you pick the same man, that's not a goal or a plan. Mm-mm. Because you know how because it's going. It, Exactly, like if you complaining about being with the same man, would you pick a different type of man? <laughs> Level up, uh, So shout out to everybody tune in on the Wisdom app. 
if you would like to join our conversation, you have any opinions, anything you want to talk about, uh, any questions, feel free to join. And uh, yeah, y'all could uh, speak with us. And also shout out to everybody tuned in on Spotify, iHeartRadio, uh, Spreaker, Dizzler, and um, YouTube Live. Yeah. So anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like anybody go, a girl, a, wo- a woman without a go is like being like being like a man being a man being with a woman without a go uh-huh. is like talk to him riding a car with flat tire <laughs> speak on it you're just not gonna go fast enough if you want to and you're just not gonna go far enough yeah there you go perfect picture painted i mean you know what i'm saying <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Painted. Didn't know so. Just tell me that. Don't get on the freeway. I mean, I, you ain't gonna make it. You ain't. You're gonna make it to the upright. Who wasn't ready? No. You know what I mean? Because because at the end of the day, if somebody is not building with you, they're taking away from you. Every time. You know what I'm saying? And how can you spend, and how can you and how dare you mix and how dare you try to mix toxic with growth? Wow. It's not gonna work. It's gonna burn, get down. Ain't heard you not yet. So, you know what I mean? You gotta understand. I'm just gonna be real. I'm just gonna tell the truth. Talk to him. My guys. I'm talking to my guys. Man. Okay. If you were a girl, and y'all been in a, like two and a half, three years, you know, whatever. <laughs> and y'all still doing that same old shit. Right. And by that, what It'd take mean? you to. Same old shit. What do you mean? Like, uh, what y'all doing? Like, y'all making up to break up? Y'all, y'all fighting? You know what I'm saying? And regularly fighting. Regularly fighting, and, and you know what I'm saying? Constant and, argument. Constant argument, and about and constant argument. Like, so, what do you want? Right. What, what do you want? What are we doing? You, you, you used to ask somebody in three years what they want, what they're doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but good, trust me. If you didn't ask. They wouldn't tell you. Right. Let's go. So if you didn't break if you gotta bring it up. Then you are wasting your time. Don't waste your time. That's wasting your life. Wasting your time with your life. And if you stay with that if you if you stay with a person that who don't know what he has a, you know what I'm saying? If he don't have to you inside, if you hang out a person and he don't have no plans for you in, in, in his life, you that that's no, man, that's a waste of time. And that should not be a goal for you to have him in your life. That's a person with no goal. Can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't follow a poor car. I advise you not to. You know why? What's that? You gonna you gonna you not gonna go nowhere every single day. Mm-hmm. And don't look out the the rearview mirror. Man, look at the rearview mirror. You gonna looking back, you driving like you're at the, you gotta dump the shit off in the dumpster. You know the sound you just look at you driving, you looking back, not drop not looking forward, looking back, all of a sudden. You see them come from out the trash. And then sit them in the street. They sit them in the back seat. Right. They sit them in the passenger seat. They see them driving again. And doing do, and do, do the same old thing. That is not a plan. And that is not to be not be a goal in your life. It's to do the same thing over and over. With a sorry woman and with a sorry man. Especially with a sorry woman. And that ain't regular, because some people make it sound like that's just the way it is. That's just, uh, everybody goes through that. It's normal. No, it's not normal. The public decisions is not normal. Right. Accident is normal. Public decisions is not normal. I agree. You know what I mean? So, say it come with life, public decisions, you got to get working to it. Yes, sir.
And we are ready. Did you get the uh so we got the song? Yeah, we got the quote. quote. Yeah, doubt it. And uh now we're gonna get into the top ten. And uh this is where we run our top oh, ten by our guests. So, I'm going in. Yeah, 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 for sure. We are gonna run the top ten by our host Jesse, and we're gonna get a honest answer. He has not heard these questions. I thought the show already started and everything. Dang. Nah, not yet. Not yeah, yet. that's crazy. And uh, so this is the top ten signs of a wo- that a woman is bad news. When she's a bad woman. So we're gonna give him ten different types of woman of women. So you might be one of these women. You might be dating one of these women. So we're going to see. Um, first sign. We call this woman the pet. So she only has male friends. She flirts with some of them. She says she doesn't like women or that they are threatened by her. What do you say to that? We all know a woman like that. Mm-hmm. She, don't, she says... I don't got female friends. Mm-hmm. Females are jealous of me. I've always been cool with just my homeboys. What do you think about that, Jesse, realistically? Probably got a little bit of a guy complex. So? Just want to be seen by who, who she want to be seen. She want to be seen. I think so. I mean. And, and you can't have people around because the people real people are calling it out. And I think it's some. These women got to understand that not every woman is hating on her. Feel me? No. Everybody don't hate. Some people tell the truth and you, you know, that's not receiving. I'm sure they want to feel that way. They want to feel like every, everyone's hating on them. In mm-hmm. all reality, that's just not the truth. It's just mm-hmm. not the case. Mm-mm. So how do you feel about, uh, you know, women only gravitating towards men having male friends. Female will be like, oh, I don't have any female friends, just male friends. Oh, nah, man. Nah, you can't push no girl who don't got male friends. Because, uh, cause, nah. That wouldn't fly with you? Nah, I guess she's doing with somebody. Or she's getting something from somebody. Everybody's not hanging around for something. Mm. Ladies, what y'all think? Let us know. Is it okay for... Females, so if they ain't getting something, they're getting something for something, even in the conversation, looking at some money or something like it's something like it's something. There's an opportunist for sure, definitely, yeah. yeah, trying to get something from someone, right? Yeah, yeah, if you got it, you know what I'm saying, like if you all got to be in people's face, you know, bro. All right, so moving on, that's not the girl for me. Right? This is the top 10 signs of a woman that a woman is bad news. Number two, this one's called the text fiend. She loves to text but goes silent as soon as you suggest meeting up and never answers the phone. What you think about that? Will y'all meet up? Women, no. Oh. Women, women who are out there, they text all day. They text you back, text you morning, night, whatever. But as soon as you talk about meeting up with them, oh, let's meet up here. They don't want to meet up. They don't want to show up. As soon as you call them on the phone, they don't answer the phone. They ain't trying to talk to you. They don't want to see you in person. They just want to text all day, all the time. What you think about that? Talk. Talk. Catfish. Mmm. Let them know. Mm-hmm. Our catfish. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hiding. You ain't ready, you ready for the truth. Right. Because somebody got... Cause somebody got bold in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So now you don't want to. Now, now you don't want to. Now you don't want to be that person that you said you would. No, you got to not. You can't run away, love. You said that bold in Texas? Uh huh. Bold in Texas. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. What's the worst thing you should meet up with you? She can make time. If she can, uh-huh. if she could text exactly. day back and forth. If she, if woman interested, she make time for you. For sure. <laughs> so moving on. This I promise the, you. Yeah. The top ten. Good and bad. Right. Top ten signs of woman is bad news. Number three, 
This one we call the helpless princess. So she seems to be incapable of solving any problems herself. Everything is always a crisis. And even if you suggest solutions, she's only interested in dropping the problem in your lap. Yet, if there's something really important to her, she'll figure out how to get. So what do you think about that? Hmm. Basically, if there's a problem, she don't try to solve it. She pass it on to you. You take care of it. Any crisis, you take care of it. What do you think? Lazy. Lazy? Mm -hmm. Don't know how to handle... uh... Life. You know, I mean, yeah, critical situations, life. And ba much. basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had to do that to be that. Mm. I mean, you know, so, I mean, can't be scared of anything. Can't be scared of everything. You, know, you can't live in fear. You gotta live in, you know what I'm saying? You, you, it, the thing is not to live in fear, it's the thing to live in the moment. There you go. Cash them yeah. jewels. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's really how that works. You know what I'm saying? If that works like that, all the bullshit go away. Yes, sir. Shout out to everybody tuning in on the Wisdom app. All 21 of y'all, what's good? We talking about women with no goals. We got top 10 signs of a bad woman. And if you'd like to join, feel free. Uh, any questions, comments, um, uh, opinions, suggestions, whatever, we are here to talk about it. Uh, this is... The Real World J Podcast, and it is September 21st, 2022. We are in the 2 o'clock mix with your host, Mark 2.5, twice as nice and half the time. And, of course, I got my host with me right here, J Easy, Full Circle J, Al Qaeda J. You know the rest. Do so, uh, do they? I don't know. Let them know. Um, so, like I said, we're just talking to... Um, our host about signs of bad women, women with uh, no goals, and he gonna let you. He gonna let you know what he think. No filter. No, we give it to you real here on the Real World Day podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we moving on. These are the top ten signs of a bad woman. Moving on, number four. We call this one the cheater. So there's nothing wrong with open relationships, but if she's supposed to be faithful. And she not, it's a problem. Even if you're not the guy she's cheating on. It sounds obvious, but a few men use this information. They focus on where their girlfriend is and who she's with. Instead of using proven cues to date someone who isn't a cheater. So basically, how we deal with cheaters. People who are not faith, women who are not faithful to their man. Um... That's a that sounds like a bad news woman. What do we what do we do with unfaithful women in twenty twenty two? Let them know. Let them go. Let them go. That's it. Drop the signs. Mm -hmm. Let them know. Let them go. You don't want to catch nothing in the end. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't want to catch nothing. You don't want to be nothing. You don't want, you don't want to be anybody triangle. You don't want to be right. anybody hexagon. You don't want to be part of none of that. So what about to those who say, oh, but I love him. Oh, but I love her. What do you say to them? Can't love two people. Oh, shoot. You're talking to him today. Mm -mm. Can't love two people. At okay. least not real love, right? Mm -mm. Can like two people. You fuck with two people. Can't love two people. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ain't enough room in the heart. Mm -mm. And, mm -mm. uh, what do you say to those who say, oh, that's that's more of a man thing. Men cheat. Women really don't cheat. What do you say to that? Mm-mm. Mm. Oh, don't get them started. Y'all just more comp Y'all just more calculated with it. Right. Because y'all made to organize. Y'all made to, you know. Yeah. Y'all good with numbers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all good with. Good with hiding. Uh, hey, you're executing stuff. And, you know what I'm saying? They'll carve out some time right. in the day. Mm -hmm. They make a schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So y'all make the schedule. No. So you can put anything in the schedule. No. And and it's like it seems like man, we're not even really looking for that in our day. We're just doing our own thing. We got we're too busy to be. Well, one thing complicated because everything else because everything. 
We want one of them. We want, we want more comic cats. And Everything else is comic. Okay. Right. And it's like, you know, women, though, you know, they'll be they'll be up on the tracker. They'll be up on, where were you at this time? They're they organized. They're beside. Private detectives. Yeah. Like, like, nah, nah. It's 50 50. Women do the same thing men do. Right. Only men get caught. Yeah, on, because we, we, yeah, I mean, yeah, because we get caught. Yeah, because we get caught slipping. Right. Because you don't really be trying to make, you know. Nah, but. Of, some yeah, do, but, but you got to be sloppy. I mean, but more, most men are sloppy. Right, right, right. You got to cover your footsteps, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Because you leave that trail and, mm, mm -hmm. once you get a scent. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, for sure. All right, moving on. We talk about the top 10 signs of bad woman. A woman is bad news. Uh, number five. We call this one the patient. Every time something goes wrong, she'll call you. She'll share intimate secrets. She compliments you all the time. But if you try to take things further, you get, let's just be friends. You're not her boyfriend. You're her therapist. Mm. Mm, what you think about that, Jesse? Yeah, because I was. Cause she I, calls you. Because I was about oh. to say, because you know what I was about to say? You know, first thing I thought when you were saying it, I was like, man, she messy. Yeah. Yeah. And a messy person is a therapist. Right, right. So she'll call you, mm -hmm. but only when everything, when the shit hits the fan, mm -hmm. you know, when she's in trouble, when something's going on. Uh, she'll set, she'll share her deep secrets with you, but. So make you feel connected. Right. Make, right. You, make, make you feel connected to her. So when everything she tell you something, it hits you a, a different type of way. That's called manipulation. Yeah. She, dumb. You know, she. She, she, she manipulation, y'all, friend, y'all. But yeah, it's not a friendship. Mm -mm. It's 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 what she want. You know what I'm saying? It's what she you know. She needs someone to bounce shit off of. You know, she she want to hear herself talk. Exactly. We were not hearing herself talk. And uh, where were we at? Oh yeah. So she compliments you all the time, but that's just to stroke your ego. You yeah. Know? That's just to make you feel special. Mm -hmm. you know? So when she talk, you can listen longer. Right. Where you can. There you go. Um. Come on now. Right. But if you try to take things further, she hits you in that, with that friend zone. Yeah, because you've been, you been in friend zone from the beginning. Exactly. A girl lets you know you're in the friend zone in, in, in the first, like, maybe like 10 seconds. That's true. <laughs> so you're saying... Less than that. You're saying females know within 10 seconds mm -hmm. if they want to fuck with mm -hmm. you or not. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens... In you, those ten seconds, that makes them know. Is it strictly physical, like appearance, how they look? I mean, is he, it strictly? Hopefully, I mean, hopefully he will have to open his mouth. But <laughs> okay, so it can be the first ten seconds are crucial in conversation. And then, and then sometimes they don't even gotta. They, I mean, how they, much can you really say though? They can just look at somebody and be like, okay, uh, I already know. Right. If, if, if you're either he, their type or you're not. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. What about, well, they, okay. they should let you know, but they don't. Then you know what I'm saying. Then they'll let you know you're gonna go on a ride. Right, right, right. Now, should you ever, as a man, should you ever try, try twice? You approach them, and uh, they kind of hit you with the "I'm good," but then you circle back around and you hit them with the "You still good?" I mean, it's worked for some people. I wouldn't. You wouldn't? You wouldn't recommend it? I wouldn't. Cause like I said, you missed out. There you go. I'm one-on-one. -on -one. There you go, King. I'm one-on-one. -on -one. There you go, King. I'm one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Moving on. These are the top 10 signs a woman is bad news. Number six. We call this one Little Miss Jealous. Has she ever gone through your phone without permission? Does she get passive aggressive when you do things without her? Does she make cutting com comments about other attractive women? Three questions you want to ask yourself about Little Miss Jealous. Mm -hmm. Maybe what you can do is call it out. Say, I feel like we have different expectations here. And explain how her actions make you feel. 
Mm. Maybe her ex let her get away with this sort of thing, but be clear that it's not for you. So what do you think about these three questions, Little Miss Jealous? We'll address them one by one. Has she ever gone through your phone without permission? Okay. Does she get passive aggressive when you do things without her? Mm. Okay. Does she make cutting comments about other attractive women? Okay. There you go. Now, what is your suggestion to women who are that way? Man. Yeah. Basically, jealous women. Yeah, well, she focus on yourself. Right. Pretty much. Focus on yourself. Like, all the energy you're doing on that, don't you could be doing? Could be on you. Why? Well, I mean, at no point being jealous of someone, if you can do, you know what I'm saying? You can just try to do whatever you want to do. Be in your own space. Feel comfortable in your own life. I feel you. In your own body. In, in, in your own self work. No, you. Talk to him. Uh, you are you. Very true. Let's see. Moving on. We are talking about the top 10 signs a woman is bad news. Number seven. We call this one the drama queen. We don't know that self work is a bad woman. Self-work? Yeah, because she's just a blind. She's just walking dead. With no direction. She don't know herself. No intention. And she don't know where she's going. I hear she. Right. No goal. No dream. No plan. No plan. No, plan. no execution. No wish. No, no nothing. Because you got to know who you are. Before you do anything, that's how it starts. What do you say to that's, the people that feel like they can't know who they are until they meet who they're going to be with? That's whoa. Let them know. That is dumb. Because there's people. Out no, there because that, if you don't, if you don't know who you are, if you don't fix what, what, what you don't need to fix, you need to fix, so you don't need to maintain what you need to maintain. You need to put that bad product. Right. How are you gonna be good? How are you gonna be great? How are you gonna be great for somebody and you don't even know what your greatness is? Hmm. Yo, run that back one time. I said, no, I was saying, how you gonna uh, say you're gonna be great for somebody and you don't even know what your greatness is? Mm. Dropping jewels out there. Y'all pick it up. And uh, like I said, shout out to everybody tuned in on the Wisdom app. We up to 30 listeners and uh, feel free to join. Uh, any suggestions, any questions, any comments, any anything you'd like to talk about feel free and uh like i said this is september 20th 21st excuse me and we are in the rush hour it's one two o'clock with uh your host two grams and a half mark 2.5 and uh one half a twin desert eagles we got al to j mm -hmm. full circle j in effect right now I'm talking to y'all directly we touching everywhere in the world, global, we global, international. Oh yeah, we oh, are. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh we are all. Yes sir, we are global and international. Yeah, this ain't just state, in state, out of state. Nah, this this all over. So uh, number seven, we moving on. Like I said, we talking about the top ten signs a woman is bad news. Y'all can stay away from me. Number seven, the drama queen. Everything is a big deal. Conflict is always around the corner. A combative but, woman, yeah, a very, it, 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 it's okay to be a combative, but be like to be very combative, right. yeah, that's not good. And I always feel like you gotta be a part of something that is bad. Mm -hmm. That is a bad woman. Like, you know, say why you just, just why you just can't do why? good things why? when you could, when you do good things, normal right. things, and great things happen. Right. When you put your energy in bad things, negative things happen, and bad things happen, and poor decisions happen. Mm. That's how that goes. Yes, sir. So, if you want a woman like that, she worried about what's going on with her two friends, and that what's going on, what's going on at y'all house with your two kids. Mm. You know Not the saying? kids. You know what I'm saying? Then that's a problem. Yeah. Fix it or get rid of it. There you go. And it seems like uh, the drama queen is the type, really, that just needs attention. 
Right. She needs need too much attention. Too she much attention, like that, air, like oxygen. Yeah, that is, that is uncontrolled, really. Right. Now, do you think that comes from maybe early on childhood, maybe not getting any attention? I mean, yeah. I'm, I mean, you gotta understand that, yeah. Because, you know, trauma follows yeah, absolutely. people throughout their lives. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times, they search for, seek what they didn't have. Oh yeah. So they overcompensate. Yeah, even if they know they don't know it, it's just that they the thing is that no, it's their thing. No, it's that a it's that compulsion. Right, right, right. It's just become like a habit that they you know it's an info are used to it's something that they need that they've been searching for. Because right. everybody's searching for something in right. their, in, in their thing, their mind, their body, and their soul. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Moving on, we got uh, like I said, we're talking about. Down, the- Top 10 signs a woman is bad news. Moving on, we call this one the networker. She's always busy until she suggests something, and she won't let you change the plans. The something is always a charity event, networking function, or somewhere she wants to see and be seen. She spends half of the time talking to other people. In short, she's using you for social proof. Mm. Mm mm mm. So, in other words, she's showing, she's showing up, showing up. Uh, she's networking, you know. So, she's always anytime you got some, some you want to do. Oh, let's do this. Let's do. This, she's always busy, you know, too busy to do. But when it's her, she makes sure that you accompany her. She wants you there, you know, dressed to a T and ready. She want you show you off. Yeah. You know, but like this, I said earlier. This me, though, walk around, this me right. to have all the but, but like I said earlier though, a woman who wanna who interested in you. Yeah. Interested in you, it's gonna make time for you. That's true. That's true. That's the point blank. Yeah. If a good, bad, good, bad, ugly, in a situation, you're not in a situation, or you you or you just by yourself or whatever. A woman you wanna make time for you, she'll make time for you. If she don't, then you know why, and then you just know. Very true, very true. Um, moving on, moving on. We are talking about the top ten signs a woman is bad news. Number nine, we call this one the gold digger. Most women want a guy who is at least somewhat successful, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for- isn't that wrong with sustainability? Isn't that wrong with like? Uh, a person that have money in their I'm, pocket. I'm getting like, to Jesus. it. I'm getting to it. How dare them? Let me. But check this out. So let me run that back. Number nine. We call this one the gold digger. Most women want a guy who is at least somewhat successful, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you was referring to. However, a gold digger money is the only thing, and capitalized only. Mm-hmm. You know. It's not about success. It's not about uh, sustainability. It's about money. Just point blank, period. Mm-hmm. Without the money, bye, Jess. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Without the money, I mean, it's love until there's no money. That, well, that's not really love. That's now, just, you, now you're speaking facts. That's just a commitment that you made into the money run out. Man, say. I wish we had a let me round of applause that because you <laughs> what y'all think out there. Let us know what y'all think about gold diggers out there. We're trying to get a consensus about uh We thought I was gone, boy. Right? Dude. We're trying no, to get sir. a consensus no, about sir. women no, sir. who make money the only priority. Not a priority, but the only priority. Any of y'all women out there that maybe have been on one or the other sides of that, and any men out there that have dealt with a woman like that, feel free to join. Let us know. We're talking about it right now. Um, So, we have reached the final sign. This is the uh, top 10 signs a woman is bad news. And number 10, 
we uh we call this one the depressive. Mm -hmm. But we gon' and we gonna introduce a guest and then a guest was on there. I mean, I hope I you're paying attention. Nah, yeah, I, I, I rubbed my eye. I rubbed my eye. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we had a little miscommunication, but feel free to rejoin and uh, no, I, I rubbed my get eye. the conversation going. We trying to t we talking right now. We're on number nine, talking about gold diggers. Uh, women. Me, my eyes just kicked in. Women who focus solely on income, on money, and uh, how do you feel about that? Man, if you've ever dealt with women. It's important, though. Right. I mean, it, it, is, it is important, you know. It's very important. To survival. No, it's the same. No. But I, Sustainability. I, I personally know people who have been much happier in life with much less i'm not talking about being rich i'm talking about having sustainability sustainability you gotta be rich you just gotta be i mean you just gotta right be, but i mean a bit, people, little comfortable people, like, could live say, life. people could be sustainable that could be a one-bedroom house that's fine long as, it, as, as, as long as you ain't uh long as uh, long as you ain't worried about nothing getting cut off that's your life right. that's what y'all do that's sustainability if you can, if you can keep up with it, if you can keep up with it, if you can keep up it, keep up with it without losing it, it's sustainability. I mean, I don't know if I agree with that though, because I per like I said, I personally know or have family or whatever. Like, just because we're in, I know, I know we're global, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch everybody on this who's listening. Okay. Outside, outside of the United States, there's other places that don't have certain things, as far as running water or you know, electricity straight to their house. They may have to use a generator. They may have to get water from a well, um, which I've personally seen, I've personally done. What I'm saying is you could have the minimal or you could have nothing pretty much. But at the end of the day, the love conquers all. So you could have two broke people together and they make it work somehow. And you can have two rich people together that can't make it work. Just because they're sustained and, you know, just because they don't, let's say they don't got to worry about bills. They don't got to worry about, yeah, everything's great, but they're living a double life. They're See. cheating. They're, See. You see what but I'm saying? All that. What I'm saying is for this generation, for what going on, what we're talking to, these men that don't be being stuck with these women that don't got no goals and they just want to just live off of you. No. Get rid of them. Right, right, right. I agree with that. I agree with that for sure. No, it ain't. No. No. No, because if anything that if anything COVID, if anything COVID taught you, right. that you need somebody to be with you, not somebody to take away from you. Jewels. And life is short. Life is short. Fuck out. So we have come to our final sign, number 10. This is the top 10 signs a woman is bad news. Pay attention. We're calling this one. Well, she can't read. Oh, shit. I didn't take that. Hold on. We will be right back with you on the Real World Jesse Morgan podcast. Hello. How you doing?
doing? Sorry for the slight animation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is the three o'clock hour. Shout out to everybody tune in. Uh, we got 36 on the Wisdom app. What's good? Shout out to everybody um, tuning into the Real World J podcast. Y'all can follow us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Dizzler, uh, YouTube Live. And we are talking about a woman with no, no goals. There you go. And uh, right now we're doing the top 10 list. We're at the final sign. We're doing the top 10 signs a woman is bad news. And uh, feel free to join in if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, opinions. We are here to talk. So, number 10, we call this one the depressive. So, a close relative of the person, but she's not necessarily trying to put you in a box. She's just miserable. If there's nothing in her, mm. if there's nothing in life to whine about, she'll tell you about a friend's drama. Mm. Mm. What do you think about that? No, these, bi- these women who No are, business, Maddie. Yes. Uh, there you go. You summed it up well. A chatty patty. There you go. Chatty patty. Always. Uh, don't got nobody. Th- mm. Don't got nobody hopes or dreams. And if it's going. But want to live by Karen's Larry through somebody else's life. And they, wouldn't even, they don't even want you a part of their life. Like that. And if it's going great for them. It's going bad. See, it's gotta, going bad for you. You know why? You, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think you want to do it. Watch the other world burn. Because you know why? Because your world is burned. Oh, you That's, preaching now? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. why not watch that? So why not watch the other people for a bird? You don't got nothing because you ain't trying to grow nothing. Mm. And you get mad, and you get, and you get mad every single time when you see people doing what you should be doing, what right. you need to be doing. Right. So shame on them mm. for working, and shame on you for just sitting there. There you go. Now listen, pay attention. Pick up them jewels. You know what I mean? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. If you hang, if you be with a girl who do nothing, you don't have much. Mm. So yeah, shout out to everybody tuning in. That was the top ten signs of a bad woman. So now you know the signs. Maybe if you're dealing with a bad woman, uh excuse me, a woman who's bad news. Let's say it like that. Or if you are the woman who's bad news, um, you know, might need to rethink some things in your life. Try how does a woman with some of these How you know a bad woman how you know she's a bad woman? Hold decisions. There you go. That's simple. Accident is an accident, but a poor decision is a poor decision. It's not an accident. Uh, a poor decision is not an accident. An accident is something that's something that you you, you do an accident is something happening and you never do it again. <laughs> that's wild that you say that because I literally said that about like maybe a week ago. I was just saying the exact same thing mm. about the difference between accidents and mistakes. Mm-hmm. The difference. I think a lot of people don't understand the difference between an accident and a mistake. Mm-hmm. Would you like to break it down to them? You broke it up. I well, it, it was kind of what you were saying, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, uh, go ahead. I just reframed it. But, go, go ahead. Um, Talk about it. You know, get the ball. I think that. I'm going to just keep it real. I I really, I, I haven't really subscribed to the idea of accidents. Because in my in my mind, mm-hmm. you know, our, so our story is written. So okay. well, whether it's good or bad or whatever, what happens okay. to us supposed to happen to us. It's already, you know. Right. It's in the creator uh-huh. for us to live this life that's already been written. So it ain't agree, no accident. I, it ain't no accident that this now, okay. mistakes or quote unquote poor decisions, mm-hmm. on the other hand, is something that we, as the human form, make bad decisions, we make poor decisions, make mistakes. Okay. You see what I'm saying? The difference mm-hmm. we have control, the difference uh, we can either make good on those poor decisions, on those mistakes, mm-hmm. or we can continue to make them. Right. Right? Right. So that's what, about a week ago, I was thinking about that. Accidents versus mistakes. Mm-hmm. And it seemed to be so clear to me when I was thinking about it. And right now, when you dropped that jewel, I was like, oh, okay, okay. So there, there's something to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Try to, man. <laughs> Try to make things close to close, you know? Um, yeah, that's, uh, 
you know how we do on the Real World J podcast show. We love y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be out. Uh I'm gonna go uh gonna go pick up my daughter uh from school. Me and Mark pick up my daughter from school, then we're gonna go to the store and then we're gonna make this happen. You know what I'm saying? This is Real World J podcast show, so we tell you exactly what's gonna happen. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, love y'all. Out, peace. Mm.